Hello, this is Paul Chapman and welcome to another of my introductory tutorials on the Word Bible software. Today I'd like to introduce you to the Copy Verses uh, feature. There's a common task that we perform as Bible students and that is copying verses across to our Word processor. How do we do that from within the Word? Well, let's go to the Bible View window and I'm going to show you one way today. Right click opens up a menu. I'm going to go down to the Copy Verses menu item. Let's click on that and up pops a dialog box. Here I'm given some options where I can copy one verse or a range of verses and including the translation and the passages that I wish to take across. Step one, I'm going to copy the verses over to the right here. I have a preview window. You can see how it's going to appear in your word processor. And you can display, or rather set this up, however you wish it to appear. I'm going to choose the range as verses 1 through to verse 3 of Genesis chapter 1. The translation I'm going to use is the KJV, but I could choose the ESV if I wanted to. In this case, I'm going to choose the KJV. Uh, the options that are given here will be whatever you have open in your Bible View module at the time. Bible View window, I should say, whatever modules you have open at the time in that Bible View window. Okay, I'm going to stick with the KJV. Step three, we choose whether we want to show the header or not. Clicking on that little box there. Uh, brings up the tick which turns on the header I tick it again uh, click it again rather to take the tick away to turn off the header so let's turn on the header I can also show a footer as well now the format of the header is set in this field here you'll notice this little drop down arrow will give us some options there there are some hard coded letters and with a percentage sign in front of them R for range, T for translation, N for new line. In this case, I've got all three showing, which gives me a R for range. Percentage in front tells the formatting field that this is a hard-coded letter that we want to uh, call up the range with. I'm going to show the translation in parentheses, and whatever I type in here will also appear in uh, the uh, in the in the passages I, as I trans rather as I uh, copy it across. Hello, for argument's sake. There you go. So you can see there, I can take away that new line and it disappears. And now I can put it back in. Let's put it back in. New line and a space there. If I want to have a space, or I could put some inverted commas there. Whatever I want. Anyhow, that's that formatting field there for the header or the footer. There's some other advanced options for that over here. I could turn the bolding of it on or off. I could also change the size of the font through this little dialogue here. Let's bring it back down to one and choosing bold. Coming down now to step four, which is defining the format of the actual passages that I bring across, those actual Bible verses themselves. Um, I've got a few options given here. I can choose to show the verse reference before each line. I can choose to show it after uh, the verse reference after each verse. I can choose to show it in paragraph format. Uh, or not, whatever it might be. A single block of text is what I'm going to choose today, and I think I'll leave it at that. I now copy and close, and go across now to my word processor, control V, and there you have it. So that's one quick way of bringing across a Bible verse into your word processor, or a series of Bible verses. Let's go back to the word processor, rather to the word again, and let's just, maybe argument's sake, let's bring up John 1 verse 1, and uh, we might want to copy that across. I can also right click, copy verses, and John 1. And let's do one, John 1 verses 1 to 3. There you have it. Rather, verses 1, 1 to 3. And I'm ready to go. Copy and close. Bang. To my word processor. Back again. Control V, paste. So there you go. That's one way of getting verses into your word processor from the word. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the tutorial and that it's been helpful for you. If it has been, please give me a thumbs up. Until next time, take care. God bless. Bye for now.